What's up everybody? This is Petey from SupplementReviews.com. Some live for Friday, some live for Saturday, some live for Sunday, hey, but anybody can live for what we're reviewing today, game day from Man Sports. It's their hot pre-workout that was sent over to us by our good buddy Steven at Man Sports. So let's dive on in. Starting with the front of the container, I got the blue bomb single flavor here. And uh, it promises to be a high intensity performance aid with GPLC and pure PF3. 60 servings, dietary supplement. All right, so starting with taste and mixability. It mixes good, a little gets a little foamy, so sometimes you gotta add a little water after you mix it up to get the final, I guess, little bits and pieces out of the shaker cup, but nothing settles to the bottom. So aside from a little foam, it mixes awesome. I dig the blue bombsicle flavor. It can be a little bit overly sweet, so if, uh, you need to be, just add a little more water, but don't add too much because you'll kill the flavor. I like the concept. It has, I guess, that popsicle, tie, uh, blue raspberry popsicle taste to it. So in other words, it promises to uh, blue bombsicle, and you get blue bombsicle in terms of flavor. So for taste and mixability, it's rocking. I like it. It's 8.5 out of 10. Nothing great, nothing terrible. I mean, it's, it is what it is for as much stuff as is in here, and uh, it matches the flavor really well might be over sweet for some people, but hey, that's not the main concern. What is important is we're looking at the supplement facts. So moving on there, this is uh, one of the things you'll notice right away. It says 60 servings on the front of the container there. However, if you look at the top of the lid, it says even right there, each scoop of game day is two servings. So one full scoop equals two full servings. So you're supposed to start with a quarter to a half scoop to assess your tolerance. Ah. I start with a full scoop. I know my stimulant tolerance is pretty dang high, so I didn't have any issue. But for, I guess we'll get to that in a little bit, the effectiveness. Look at supplement facts here. Per half scoop serving, so we'll go with that, 60 servings per container as promised, six calories, one grams of carb, uh, gram of carbs, no sugar, and a half a gram of protein. First up, you got your instant nitric oxide stimulated blend, which has glycerol monosterate, glycocarn, and uh, norvaline, as well as a uh, Rudicarapine. So, in that blend there, they have it uh, as part of a proprietary blend, 2,135 milligrams. So we got about over 2 grams of nitric oxide blend here. It's got glycocarn in it, and it's even the GPLC, um, like official trademarked glycocarn. So it is high quality stuff. I like seeing that in there, and if you're looking for a pump product, it's hard to go wrong with glycocarn. I guess, uh, back to the mixability bit with this, traditionally some products with the glycocarn in it don't mix really well, has a little waxy consistency. This stuff is a very fine powder, so there wasn't much issue with that. This is probably the best mixing glycocarn containing supplement that I've got to try. Moving on from there, got concentrated growth factors for the pure PF3 at 500 milligrams, or a half gram per serving. So if you got your full scoop, you got one gram of it in there. Um, it's an interesting inclusion there. Um, I wish that they would provide a little bit of literature along with it. I mean, all they kind of do is slap pure PF3 on there for growth factors. Uh, it says that it contains Ig, F1, and... Uh, IG, capital G, but um, there's not really a daily value established for that, and also it's questionable exactly, um, well, okay, yeah, let's leave it at that, questionable for exactly how bioavailable um, those two uh, products are when taken orally. So it's an interesting inclu inclusion, but it's not going to be the end all for me. And finally, rounding it out is the IR Energy Blend at 252 milligrams, so it is relatively low in terms of stimulants on there containing caffeine, dendrobium alkaloids, rosaline, black tea, and L-tyrosine. I do like the inclusion of all those ingredients in there. It's well-rounded. Uh, there's no geranium stem, if that's a concern, which has kind of been the, uh, I guess, trend as of late. And it is kind of neat to see the dendrobium alkaloids making like, an even more presence. Rehusaline, uh in there you see, uh, that's in a lot of stuff, um, also known as a few other names, but... I mean, this is probably the most common one you'll see. And, of course, the black tea in there for the natural caffeine uh, content as well. I do like the blend, energy blend as a whole. And when you got your full scoop there, which is two servings, mind you, you're going to have about half a gram total, just over 500 milligrams. So, um, that, I like it all overall. And uh, there's nothing in here that I don't want to see. Each pre-workout is kind of based in its own category. I mean, you can tell when the stuff is pixie dusted in. That's not the case. Everything is in here. This is definitely a performance-based um, pre-workout, so you're going to get good vascularity and pumps with it with all the glycocarn. 
um, in there. So I do like the ingredient profile. It's unique. I like the inclusion of the growth factors, even though the research is hit and miss on it. But overall, the ingredient profile is pretty awesome. So it gets a 9.2 out of 10. No complaints there, and it's something that uh, I guess unique that you aren't going to see, I guess, much like it. Okay. Um, in case you're wondering, the scoop size, it may sound like half a scoop it isn't very much, but the scoop that comes with this is a pretty hefty size scoop. Um, it probably is about the size of a branch chain amino acid scoop if you had to compare it to something. Uh, I think modern BCAA has a scoop about this size. So um, it's a pretty hefty size scoop, so even then uh, you'll be getting uh, a half scoop is almost a little over four grams. So that's quite a bit of powder in that little half scoop there. So, um, don't let that uh, fool you. Moving on to effectiveness. Let's start with talking about the stimulant blend, which is why they tell you to start with a lower dose. I have a very high stimulant tolerance, and if you have a high stimulant tolerance, this might not hit you as hard as some other products will, which isn't going to be the end-all factor. It has a nice little burst of energy, but it's not going to stim you out of your mind. So if you're looking for like that uh, all-out, cracked-out feeling, then this isn't the product for you. However, if you're looking for a nice little pick-me-up that isn't going to uh, have you get a huge crash afterwards, and you want some nice pumps to go along with it because the glycocarn, if you've responded well to glycocarn in the past, I think you'll enjoy this as well. Vascularity is good, um, and if you use it on like a high repetition day, you're going to swell up pretty good on this stuff. So effectiveness-wise, basing strictly on pumps and energy, I'm going to give it a 9.2 out of 10. It's good stuff. I've had a few other products. I mean, I respond especially well to nitrates, but glycocarn, um, they're probably third best behind our nitrates and, our, and uh, agmatine for me. But for this stuff, you sh you know, it, you'll, you'll probably enjoy it if you like it. Glycocarn is hard to beat. It's very basic. It's been around for a while. And uh, they have a hefty, 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 hefty amount of glycocarn in here when you're getting, uh, you know, four grams per scoop of that pump blend. So overall, for the value of this stuff, it's priced just like any other pre-workout. If you're taking a full scoop, which most of you probably will, that's only 30 servings per container. But hey, that's about actually what most uh, pre-workouts have in these containers of 30 servings. So uh, 60 servings per container may seem like a really good value. However, you probably will want the whole scoop, so it is going to be 30. So that could be a little deceptive. However, you know, they're not putting it on there just for marketing ploy. I mean, it's it, it can it can be some potent stuff if you're not used to that dendrobium extract. So overall, I like the uh, value of it. The ingredients in there are high quality using the official glycocarn as well as the growth factors in there. Um, so overall, for value-wise, you get a solid 8.9 out of 10. It's a very... Um, well thought out and unique product. So I don't think you'll have any disappointment there. Okay, so overall for this stuff, it's very solid. It's uh, one of the better crew workouts I've tried as of late. I'm glad that I got to try it. Um, I, know that, I know that one of our expert reviewers for sure has tried this out, so his review is already up. Mr. Graham Cracker himself, and um, I like it just as much as he did. So overall, I'm giving it a 9.2 out of 10. It's obviously not the best crew workout I've ever tried, but it is one of the best that I've tried as of lately, and it's something good to mix it up if you're looking strictly for pump versus just that cracked out, stimmed feeling. So once again, a 9.2 out of 10, a very solid rating. I think it's a good product if you're looking something to mix it up to give it a try. This has been PD from SupplementReviews.com. Make sure to follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube, plus on G+, Tumble on Tumblr, Pin on Pinterest, all that good social media stuff, and of course, as always, make sure to check out our contest. We've got good stuff being given away all the time, and other than that, you have a good day.